there was a supply and demand, and the demand always outsourced the supply that you could give, as far as sort of concerts and, and, and in the States, it's a massive continent, but we, we, we would, and it got to the point where um, during the 70s, we're doing multiple shows in, in, say, in New York or Chicago or LA or whatever it is, and, and it still would just be sellouts. And you, there was more demand, but we had to move on. You know the volume of record sales, you've heard about it, um, and it's exactly the same with the, with the attendance. You know, we broke records, I know we did, but, but um, we, still couldn't, we could, still couldn't supply the demand. <laughs> Well, if you put it in the context of, say, one week, we'd probably have five shows in it. And each of those shows would be minimum of three hours long. Uh, that's some serious workout, both, both musically and physically. And the, it, it gets to the point where people will go, oh, that was really excessive that they had a plane. Well, it wasn't. It wasn't because it meant that you could stay in New York unpack your suitcase and you could be based in New York while you flew into Philadelphia and you flew to Washington and you do you see you, it starts to sort of add up then that it makes sort of sense but you, you're doing multiple shows and and uh, um, it's all it all has to be seen in context but it was it, it was it was uh, quite a workout but it was good, you know, it was a good way to practice as well. <laughs>